Hi guys, Jen here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance All Supply. I am doing a number of things in this video. One, I am doing a restock of my fresh raspberries um, soap. Um, the design is, is um, inspired by Holly of Missouri River Soaps. Um, I cannot remember the name of her soap. Um, but it is such a pretty design. It's not the same colors, not the same scent or anything like that. Um, but she does a base layer down in the bottom, just a little thin layer of a solid color. And then the rest of her soap is like a creamy color and has jojoba beads in it. And I think it's just so pretty and so elegant. So this is my little twist on that. Um, for my fresh raspberries, I want to have a thin layer on the bottom of green, and then another thin layer of red, and then the rest of the soap will be white, hopefully I can get it white, and I will have red and green jojoba beads in it. Um, in here I've done the heat transfer method. In here I have my oats and my clay, and I, also, I went ahead and put my goat milk powder in here because you know that's a new additive to my to my soaps I'm trying out. I have my cream off here to the side to add here in just a minute. And the star of this video is this mold. So as you can see, ta -da, we have our new Diamond and Sapphire Molds. Now, I'll explain these in just a second, but this is Sapphire. You can see her name, and she is the blue color. And we have done lots and lots and lots of testing on silicone molds. Different types of silicone. This is a really thick silicone, a stiff silicone, but it's still, you know, movable. Um, but any mold over 8 inches is at a really high risk, a silicone mold that is. Any silicone mold over 8 inches is at a really high risk of bowing when filled. Now the mold we designed uh, to where you would fill it, you would use 55 ounces of oils and you would have about an inch of headspace left in your mold for textured tops or you know whatever. Um, but that way you don't fill it completely to the top. If you want to cover the soap, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be afraid you're going to mush up the top of your soap. And, um, so this recipe is the 55 ounces of my recipe. And it should have, you know, a little space left. But these little pieces, I, this is Velcro that you can see here. Little tiny pieces of Velcro that I have cut, stuck about midway on the mold. This little piece of Velcro, once my mold is full, if it would bow, um, I've had it not to bow on me. We've done, we've tested these for five weeks now. Um, if it goes to bow, I will slap that little tiny piece of Velcro across the top of the mold and voila. My issue is fixed, my mold doesn't bow. So that is our easy, inexpensive solution to having a long silicone mold that works fantastic and does not bow. I'll show you how that works after we fill it. Let's go ahead and get our cream in here. really excited to make this soap. I made this last summer and it sold out super fast. Um, I actually took it to one of my shows and it was the, uh, this is true, it was like the only soap anybody bought until it was sold out. And I was like, okay. So yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do a lot of blending because, you know, I want to do some layers. 
but we were super excited. These molds are in stock, and there's a stipulation. For the first week, um, we are only offering them to, for sale to previous Be Scented customers. So, today is Wednesday. I won't get this video uploaded probably till Thursday. Um, but next week, the molds will be available for other people to purchase that have not been customers. We're just sort of a thank you for people that has supported me from the beginning. Now I'm hoping one of these full will be enough to put a thin layer on the bottom of my mold. We shall see. Because like I said, I don't want a thick layer. I just want a thin layer. So I'm going to do green first. And I know I don't have any fragrance in here. I will put a little bit of fragrance in the this. Do you want to play on mommy's phone? Yeah. Here. There you go. Okay. Alright. Now let me get my green collar. This is a mix of my green apple and with a just tiny bit of groovy green. Just a tiny bit. So I want this a nice, vibrant color. Beautiful. I'm afraid if I stick my stick blender in here, it will overflow. So I think I'll use my little mini whisk, sort of kind of move it along. If that works. Yeah, I can feel it starting to thicken up some. Get my mold in here. Let's clean up my mess I made. You guys see that okay? I think so. I'm just going to gently pour this along the bottom. I don't want to leave a lot for the top. I will just leave a little. Because I mostly want the top white. Okay, we'll move this off to the side. And I don't think that's level. I think we'll just push it to the back.
fragrance. I'm just using a little pipette to get a little bit in there. Alright. Color. Now this is not like red red. This is um, our deep rose color. Which it will be a deeper, not as bright red. It will be deeper colored. And I want that contrast. my little mini whisk. It's not set up completely, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do, I think it's going to sink some, which is okay. doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just hoping this sets up enough that um, my white, I don't want my white down in here. So far so good. I don't think I'm breaking through too bad. Let's get my mold to turn around. Smells so good. I will attempt to clean up my mold some. Okay, let 
me get chopsticks. What was that? Right. That's pretty good. I can always get the rest when I plain the soap. Okay, now the top is starting to set up, but the fragrance should help loosen that up. my white. All a big scrape, big stir. And with my hohoba beads, it's just red and green. Now, I'm going to get me a spoon and we shall ladle this on top. See if I can't get it in without breaking through too bad. I hope I can. If I can't, oh well, it's not the end of the world. The last time I did this, I did not have the red layer. And I just wanted it this time. I don't know why. I just did.
Now some of you may be really big Holly fans and know exactly what soap I'm talking about. And if you do, you'll be more than welcome to say so in the comments. Because I give a big shout out, shout out to Holly. She's such a fantastic soap maker. Scraper. Scrapey, scrapey. If you have your Velcro on there, just be mindful when making your soap. Um, you can get it dirty, but I mean, it's not a huge deal if you do, because you know, it's not like it's permanent. You can pull the Velcro right off. I know I'm muddling the top up, but I don't care. Just wanted to bring these sides in some. You know, go back down the middle. Glitter. Now, 
let me turn it towards me and I'll look. I mean, I can't really see much of a bow. Can you guys? I mean, not really. If there is a bow, it is like absolutely minuscule. So, but what you would do is you would take your Velcro piece, kind of stick it on that side and stick it on this side. You measure it when your mold is not filled and um, if there would happen to be any slight bow that right there is going to fix it. So, I'm zooming you guys out. Oh, sorry. But that right there would fix it if there was any bow in it. And that's it. Um, so, I'll bring you guys back when I unmold and cut this baby. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, we are back to unmold my soap. Now I have, this is what I do, I don't really cover my soaps. I just put something over the top and then I leave it on my counter. So I'm going to pull off my little sticky. I'll put that one back on there. I'm hoping it's ready, I've not even checked. Um, It's been about 19 hours since I've made it. And look at that. Ta da! Perfect unmold. Ugh. Yum. Let me grab my cutter. Get this in the picture. Looks like I need some planing done on it on the side, but that's no big deal. sure you guys can see everything good. Get this ready. Let's see. Zoom in. Go up a little. Let's turn some lights on. Oh, it's snowing at my house. Alright, let's see. Can you see good? I think so. Good. Uh, maybe up a little bit further. Okay. Let's get this first one cut. Oh, pretty. Oh, there we go. Yay. I really like it. Super happy with how this soap turned out. Hey, mommy. Hmm. This yours? It's cold. Yeah. Of course, it smells wonderful. And my mold did fantastic. Now I should get 13 bars. The interior dimensions of that mold is 15 and a half inches by three and a half inches <clears throat> by three and a half inches tall. But I don't like a really tall bar. I like, you know, a little bit shorter. That's why I don't fill the mold completely. And I cut at an inch and an eighth. And I will get 13 bars and one end slice. 
I'd rather have one thicker end slice that I can cut down the center for two samples than to have two super thinny, skinny ones that are big. I really like how this soap turned out. Very happy. And I will count my bars afterwards. So I'll let you know that I did get my 13. This soap will be available. They do want my coat real fast. I need okay. Yeah. There you go. Um this soap will be available in my March listing next month. This is the first of February. I'm going to do some other restocks, um, like my pear and palm. Uh, goodness, you guys let me know what you want me to restock. I have a bunch that need to be restocked for my listing. Um, please join my Facebook group if you haven't, if you're a customer of mine. Um, I have a new group where you can keep up with what I'm doing. Um, I'm moving away from Etsy. I've got my own website now. Um, it is A, the letter N, the letter S and then Suds and Such LLC, like A and N, Suds and Such. And there's two S's though, A N S, and then like A and N's. I don't know how to explain it. I'll just put the link below for you. I still have some soaps on there. I'm thinking about doing. A, I have lots of soaps I only have like one or two bars left of and I'm going to do a like a a gift bag of five random bars of soap full size bars and um, for $20 my soaps I normally sell for $5.25 each, so that's a savings of $6.25. So you get over one bar for free. And I'm thinking of doing that to get rid of my stragglers, as I call them. Yeah, I got 12 bars right there. I have two roses of six. And then this will be my number 13 with my end slice. Yay! All right, guys. So in the description box below, I have a link to my Facebook group for you guys to join. Um, I have my monthly listings, you know, on there, what I'm doing. Um, if I'm going to be doing new stuff and ask your opinions. So if you're not a member, please go join my group. If you're a customer, um, it's not um, a soap group for, you know, like talking and chatting and stuff like that. It's just to sell my finished products. So if you have any questions, or if you want to go where I sell the supplies, that is bescented.com. You can go there. And I have a Facebook group for Be Scented. So you're more than welcome to join that. All the information you need is in the drop box below. Hello. Oop, there it is. Down there. Um, where, I ha where you see the name of the soap. 
there is an info or a more button you can click and it will drop down and it gives you a long spiel uh, it gives you a free recipe that I've used uh, previously that I give out um, for people that would just like um, a tried recipe uh, there's that in there and I think that's all thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video